and tell me when it's on. It's on. Okay, so this is a two inch PVC with a two to three inch rubber gasket on the end and it's hooked up with the pump so that I can put this down into the hole and pump out uh, rocks and gravel that I've been working with. So I'm just going to lift it up and put it down in the hole. Right now, we're about 20 feet down, so this goes almost down to the bottom. I'm going to spray out over that mesh to see what we're getting and turn on the pressure of the air. some of the gravel coming out. There we go. Catching that. Yeah. So that's sucking out the bottom of the hole. Okay. And then we'll take it out. Let's see if there's anything stuck in the bottom. So I'll stand back a little bit because it's going to come behind me. Check to see if anything's down here. And this time there's nothing. But all these rocks came out the bottom. Okay. So this is the general setup. You can see the well there. Got a 10 inch casing and I've got a 3 inch PVC that's a 40 foot pipe right now with a angle on the top to shoot out away from me and uh, got all the fittings there so I'll turn the air on at the, at, the tri at the switch and then I shoot out into this area and you can see what I get out is a bunch of gravel and sand. Okay, I'm back behind the well now. Water's running. Got my three inch PVC pointed away from me. Go over, switch on the air, and then we'll watch what comes out. Get a big, big fountain, and usually then you'll start to hear. The rocks and gravel come out. As you can hear and see the rocks and things spreading out there. So that's a look at uh, the debris field, basically <laughs> rocks and gravel and sand that are coming up out uh, when I do that pump. And in terms of scale, you can get a sense of what the size is. It's my hand. So, so not everything down there will come up through the three inch pump pipe. So I've also, uh, like it's an example of a rock I took out this morning, that's quite a bit larger than the three inch pipe. Uh, so what I've created is this uh, long pipe, it's steel pipe, half inch, um, with a hose clamp ring around the bottom, and I've connected netting to it. And so I lower that down into the, to the hole and turn it around and um, capture rocks like this, uh, and that helps me keep moving forward.